on January 25th, Stafford High School football team won the Sportsmanship Award for 3A Division of Greater Texas. Coach Wilson and a few of his players gave us the inside scoop about their Sportsmanship Award. We were notified uh, about two weeks prior to being named the Touchdown Club recipient. And uh, Neil Farmer called us to let us know that we had become one of the five finalists. It's an honor for us to be named the best, but I think there's many teams that are out there. There are many, many teams that are outstanding. I think we were voted number one because we've come so far with these kids, have grown and have continued to improve. And obviously the uh, officials in the entire Gulf Coast region have noticed that. Uh, what makes them the best is they try to be the best. They, they're worried about playing the game and doing the best they can as far as controlling themselves and playing the game hard. In good times and bad, they persevere. First thing, it's all about team, first things first. Win or losing, all about the team, good or bad times. And that's what we did, that's what we've become. And as you see, we're working hard now, so we're becoming a team and still in the making. The Spartans explain how they conduct good sportsmanship on the field and at practice. He inspires sportsmanship by pressing in and doing it hard every day in all sports, really. He's uh, continually just going out there telling us to work hard, do right, play classy. Sportsmanship that I've taught my players are to, uh, number one, we come out behind the American flag, we respect the flag, we respect the game, we play as hard as we can, we keep our mouths shut, we, uh, we don't dislike anybody on the other team. They're, we always tell them they're, they're good American boys like we are, we're playing the game of football. Uh, keep your mouth shut, play the game, respect the officials, and enjoy the game, play with class. Uh, very proud, I'm proud every day that I get to come and be around these young men. I think I get more out of it than they do. I, we do follow a lot of my guidelines that I have learned through being around great, great coaches. Uh, we're going to dress right, we're going to do right, we're going to conduct ourselves, so I hope I've played some, some part in it. Me personally, I feel they deserve this award because I think they're outstanding as far as what they, uh, the example that they set on the field uh, when they, every game. And it's just not for the players, it's for the band, the drill team the cheerleaders, the booster club, the parents. It's our whole Stafford community, and I think it's outstanding. Every Friday night they come over here and people are just amazed at what a first-class operation Stafford MSD is. The community played an important role in the team being finalists for this award. Yes, because without their support and their screaming and their cheering on for us, we wouldn't uh, get the courage to do what we did out there and give them what they deserve in return. The support of the community is, this is their award also. This just, it goes to the whole football program, but the community that is involved with uh, all the, oh, the excitement, the support, the helping with the booster club, the beautiful facilities, uh, the excitement. It's just not the football players, it's everybody. It's a community award. And uh, I'll repeat, we won it. We were regarded as the best, and so we're the best community. And it's, it's an honor to be associated with these guys. Uh, I'm the lucky one that I get to be around these great young men. They fire me up. And they are, and it's not, not an accident that they won. They, there's some great young men, and, and it's pretty neat to be around them every day. So yeah, I'm, I'm very proud to be a part of it. For more information on the Spartan football team and news about their award, visit www.stafford.msd .esc4.net For Spartan Spotlight, I'm Marie Munoz.